Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time, my name is Nadia. I mainly do review type videos. Sometimes I'll do a tutorial every now and then or sprinkle a little bit of my life. This video is sponsored by Stylevana. I worked with them in the past before so thank you Stylevana for sponsoring today's video. They did send me a, a few products right here and I wanted to showcase them to you guys to and there goes my light. I really need to change these, this light. And I wanted to show you guys the products that they sent me and what I used on my face. And I wanted to show you guys the five step system right here. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the name, but um, it's this brand. Solusu? Solasu. I think I'm probably butchering it, but yeah, that's the brand. So before we get into all that, I do have a discount code for you all um, in case you are interested in any of the products mentioned here or in case you guys want to head onto the Stylevana website. So in case you guys don't know who or what Stylevana is, they are kind of your one-stop shop for online uh, Korean skincare, Japanese, just your Asian skincare in general. So here in Toronto, we do have some KB stores, but they are very limited to what they have. With Stylevana, they carry a array of skincare, makeup, hair, just anything beauty related, they have it right there. And the prices are pretty affordable and shipping times are quite quick as well. So again, if you guys are interested in anything I mentioned here in the video or if you guys just want to hop on over there, here's the discount code right here. I'll leave it in the description box below as well of all the nitty gritty details so you guys can click on it, take a look at it, and hopefully you guys find something there because a lot of the K-beauty stuff that I look for, they don't have it here in Toronto, but they have it on Stylevania. So click on the link and make sure you check that out. Alright, so before we actually get on to the video, uh, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Ring that bell so you know if I want to do upload a new video. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up for fall weather. Yes, fall weather. I love fall weather. That and spring. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram handle right there. And let's just start with the video. So I did my face as I usually do with like primers and all that stuff. So what's on my face is the Sika Clearing BB Cream. This is in the shade number 13 Neutral Ivory. Now I'm not gonna get too much into detail about BB creams in general, but this one in particular, it's supposed to give you a healthy looking glow, flawless coverage. It's EON fragrance free. And because it is a BB cream, this is very lightweight that provides a silky smooth finish to the skin. This offers medium coverage, leaving the skin looking fresh, soft, and healthy. This cream blends into the skin, giving a velvety finish with a pinch of glow. So the thing about BB creams is that they don't really offer too many shade ranges because it is a BB cream. So you actually don't need that much when you're using this because a little does go a long way. I made the mistake the first time when I tried this that I used a whole bunch like a big glob and it just made everything white yeah you don't need that much at all like a little bit does go a long way you just need enough to help give you that coverage and that glow and of course continue on with, with your concealers bronzers and so forth but again when you're using this product specifically you can get away with just using a bit of it you don't need that much all right so next on the list is contour now I was very skeptical about using like these type of contours um, I felt like they wouldn't like show up too much on my skin, but it actually did. Especially when I use um, like a creamy bronzer underneath and just lay this on top. It gives it enough definition there. So this one is the Meme Box. This is their afternoon tea contour in the, in the shade Roasting Coffee. So this is what it looks like right here. So I use this on my cheekbones there and I used it for to contour my nose. I felt like this was a lot better to contour my nose to give it a more natural shadow. So what I did was I mixed these two shades together, a little light, a little dark. I first went in with this and then when I want to get in the deeper points, like in between my eyes and right here, I go in the darker shade. But sometimes I'll mix it between the two as well. And for my contour, I just went in with the darker shade. So I haven't touched this one at all because it actually is quite too light for my skin right now. Maybe when I get lighter in the winter time, but as of right now, I'm just going back and forth between these two shades. So if you guys want that natural contour, but shows, but not look to overdone this would be your best bet this is quite cool tone because it is a contour after all um so like i said i used a, a cream bronzer and just put this on top of it and just layer it and it just gives it this nice definition as you guys can see there and right here so just enough to show cheekbones so again if you guys want a more natural look then 
this this could be it and do keep in mind that these shades are buildable it isn't a straight up pigment and for me i prefer a more buildable coverage i don't like pigment right off the bat because let's say i mess up then it will take me longer to fix than it is to just slowly build up the pigmentation to my liking so this i like if you are not a fan of that then this may not be it for you or if you don't want a, a natural ish contour Again, this may not be it for you, but for those who do want that and to build up the coverage, then again, I would take a look at that. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the lips. So as you guys can see, my lips have a bit of like a tint, a bit of a sheen right now. So there are days I want to have some color on my lips, but I don't want to go the full like lip liner and the lipstick route, or even sometimes like a gloss too, right? I just want a nice little tint. And I tried those like tinting bombs, but I, I don't know, they felt a little weird to me. I don't know if you guys feel the same way or not. So if you guys are interested in having like a tinty sheer look, I have here the Black Rouge Half and Half Water Glow. This is in the shade HG06 and I believe this is in Grapefruit. So you can wear this as like a full on gloss or you can do like me where I just kind of did like a bit of a tint. So what I did was I just took a bit, of, I have a bit on my lips right now so I might it might look a little bit much afterwards but let me get my mirror. So I'll show you the doe foot and the close up everything in a second but what I did was I just put some on my lips there concentrate on the center maybe a bit on the side there and I just basically just blended it out with my finger and it'll give me like this nice like pinky reddish sheen. You guys can see in the camera right now, it just gives me like this nice little bit of color. And it doesn't look overwhelming either. It looks so nice, so natural. You can go the whole full lip gloss route if you want to. I want like this nice little sheen right here, just a nice little pop of color because I'm a lot of beige right now, okay? My tan is still somewhat here. My hair is like this beigey blonde ash color. I'm wearing a beige sweater for crying out loud. I just wanted like a bit of color, just like something to pop so this is a great great option if you guys want like that slight color they do have five other shades as well so six in total if you guys are interested and it's also isn't sticky it gives like that nice hydrate moisturizing feel like it's really really good all right so next i have is a bit of a duo right here so i have the abib Hartley Sun Essence a Calming Drop and the Abib Tone Up Sun Stick. Now, these two are sold separately, just so you guys know. So one is a stick and one is a dropper. Now, I've never heard of sunscreen being in a dropper before, but I gave this a go and it gave me an extra bit of glow in all honesty. But when I first like kind of tried this, I was like, what is this? Like, I've never heard of this before. So I'm gonna start with the stick first. It's pretty self-explanatory. You will not get a white cast when you use this, just so you guys know. And this is what it looks like. Like, you may see a bit of white. Blend it out. And there's nothing. Like, it's pretty invisible. Even though it looks white in here, it's pretty invisible. So both of them have an SPF of 50 plus, PA plus 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 plus. Um, so back onto the stick. So with the stick, it does look like it's coming in a deodorant stick. So when you apply it, it mainly looks pretty invisible, but there is maybe a bit of a white cast only because it's supposed to help brighten the skin. However, when you do blend it out, it will fade. There's no white cast whatsoever. It's very lightweight. It didn't feel heavy and the finish is very, it's very smooth and velvety and there's no smell with it either. So if you guys want the convenience of a sunblock and stick format, this could be an option for you guys. Um, so I'm gonna go on to the essence now, which is kind of interesting to me because usually when you hear sunscreen, it's either in the liquid format as we all traditionally know, and stick format is kind of like, get, it's getting there. It's not there yet, but it's getting there. But a sunblock essence, Mm. So again, this is a sunscreen and because this is an essence, you use it in conjunction with your skincare routine. Now, of course, you have to shake this first just to get all the ingredients mixed up together, but it comes as a dropper as well. So of course, with any sunscreen, this is supposed to help you from UVA, UVB. This has a medium wave and long wave UV rays. It's liquid oil balancing formula. It soothes inflammation and irritation. This offers antibacterial benefits to fight against acne, provides hydration and a lightweight moisture, and delivers antioxidants and care for anti-aging benefits. It also is supposed to help brighten dull complexion. And this also has niacinamide, which makes me go, whoa, hello here, niacinamide in the sunscreen, that's new. So 
When I first opened this, I was kind of afraid that it was going to give me a white cast because of how white it is. But after you blend it out, it gives you this nice moisture and hydration and there's no white cast left over at all. There's no weird residue that's left behind. It actually feels just like skincare but again, it's a sunscreen. Also, as you guys can see, there's a nice glow here. It is unbelievable and the fact it has nice in mind it doesn't feel drying again it's supposed to give you that moisture which it definitely does it feels really really nice if you guys are interested in this and incorporating sunscreen into your skincare routine i would take a closer look at the abib essence right here because incorporating sunscreen like right in between your skincare routine i think that would help a lot of us and because sometimes when i finish my skincare routine i forget to wear sunscreen sometimes and maybe the sunscreen that you're using when you're using on top of your moisturizer it can affect the performance of your foundation too and because this is in essence it is lighter but still gives you that protection against UVA UVB rays so again if you guys are interested take a closer look at this one all right so I have a bit of glitter on my eyes I don't think you guys can really tell too much uh, maybe a little bit I have a bit of glitter just so you know a bit of a pop right here because again I'm all beige so this is by Black Rouge again and this is their Pervely Pearl, Pearl Valley, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, their glitter liner in G04, which is Starry Galaxy. So, you know, this is the component for the liner. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it is so pretty, you guys. Like, I hope you guys can see that right there. Hold on. There are glitter chunks. There's some glitter right there. So if you guys want to use this as a liner, if you want to put it all over the lid, you can. I just put a little bit at the inner corners, probably tail end of my uh, eyeliner right there. I didn't want to put too much of it, but enough where you can kind of see a bit of like sparkle. Um, I saw some moments where the camera picked it up there, um, but that is just how my style is. I don't like to put a lot of glitter everywhere. But if you guys are interested, these are really, really good. They stay in place. Put, by the way they really stay in put and also if you put glitter by your eyes do be careful taking it off because this stays which is great but be careful because it stays they do have other shades as well but I chose this one I like the purple one a lot better and I want to change up my colors a little bit so I showed you guys those products I am going to take off my makeup wash my face and show you guys the five step system right here I've used it a couple times already and just so you guys know it's very very hydrating so let me get this all off and I will be right back okay so as you guys can clearly see uh, my makeup is all off and I actually went ahead and did my skincare but you guys will see the demonstration of each uh, product that I use and I will explain a bit further. So again, this is a five-piece uh, routine and this is by Sol Waso. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, but that's the name of it. And this is their signature beauty routine. So this is an essential anti-aging booster trial set. So this has a lot of ginseng in here. It's very ginseng concentrated. And because it's a concentrated with ginseng, it's formulated to help penetrate the deepest layer of the skin to help revive damage, youth depletes skin from within. So I'm going to explain what each product does and you guys will see in a demonstration of each one. So the first step is first care, so it's easy to remember already. Uh, so this is their activating serum, and this is supposed to enhance the regenerative power of protecting the bare of the skin to achieve the soft and radiant look. Second is the balancing water. This is a gel texture toner that provides hydration, leaving your skin with a delicate veil of moisture. Third is the balancing emulsion, a moisture-rich emulsion that softens and refines the skin's texture to make the skin look more clarified. Fourth is the concentrated ginseng renewing serum this is a fine line targeting hydrating gel serum that's formulated with encapsulated ginseng oil that zeroes in on texture and tone improving the skin's overall balance lastly is the firming cream this is a velvety smooth cream texture that sinks deep into your skin and helps your skin look firm and hydrated so how I listed it is the order that you would apply it on your face and they suggest this to use this morning and night so of course as you guys see now this is a nice glowy look it does not feel sticky it does feel really moisturizing and it does leave this nice glow um me personally i would use this at nighttime because i do have a morning routine already and that works really well with my makeup but if i'm not having a makeup day then i will use this as well because certain products would work well with my makeup some do not so if i'm not wearing makeup i will use this during the daytime as well if not then i have my other routine so anyways you guys that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this little fall look kind of thing and and 
ending the day with some skincare right here. So again, if you guys like any of the products I've mentioned in the video or just want to take a look at Stylevania and any of the products that they have on their website, go take a look at their website. I'll leave all the details and everything down in the description box below and of the products I mentioned in the video as well. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you guys again check them out. They are great if you want to check out any Korean skincare, beauty, Japanese, just anything like it's just Asian beauty skincare in general that you can't find at your local you know, Asian stores or anywhere in, in within the city. Like the troubles of trying to find certain products in stores and you have to go on a scavenger hunt for it, pain in the butt. So Stylevana, thank you again for sending all this. I love what you sent me and I definitely love that you have everything there on the website that I don't have to really go search for it. And I'm going to head to bed right now because I need to wake up early and run some errands even though it's Thanksgiving tomorrow. But by the time this video comes out, it'll be after that anyways. But Anywho, I need to head to bed right now. Again, I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!